Hello everyone and welcome. I am Slowfat Wombat and this is Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition stream number 14. No, stream number 15. I think. It's it's a, one of those numbers. Sorry. Um, what we are going to be doing in this stream is finishing the game. We are actually at the point of finishing the game. So, as you can all tell, I have found every single location. I'm pretty sure I've done mostly all of the car, all of the, um, I'm pretty sure I've done all of the, um, quests, or most of the quests. I'm actually at the point where I just do not care anymore. Not that I don't care, Fallout New Vegas is a great game, but I'm at the point where I just don't want to play Fallout New Vegas anymore. I want to finish it. I've done all the DLCs, I've pretty much done all the quests, I've gone to pretty much all the locations. So what we are going to do, what we are going to do is finish the game. So, what I need to figure out how to do, oh this is going to be fun, is get, is go to, uh, uh, Yes Man. We're going to be finishing the game with the Yes Man style, the independent, uh, the independence, uh, independent way. So, what I mean by this is, in stream number three, I decided to see what the endings were. So we did Caesar's version, and then, sorry. So in stream number three, we decided to finish all of the endings. So we did Caesar's version of the endings, which was human slavery for his legion and all that. And then, and then we did uh, the NCR version, which was martial law throughout the uh, wasteland. And then we did Mr. House's version, which was him just wanting, uh, just caring more about the uh, the uh, the strip and not the Mojave. And then we did the Yes Man version, which is this guy. Oh! Hi! That's right. Like I said, it's probably pretty important because it has non-standard hardware, just like the Lucky 38. The data on that platinum chip is a big secret, unless you can find a dedicated reader to decode it. Isn't that frustrating? Neat. Uh, yeah, so, so that's it. So that's what we're gonna do. Um... Uh, yeah, Mr. House is more about the, uh, the pre-war Vegas and trying to bring it back up instead of caring more for the Mojave. And the Yes Man is an independent, an independent thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Jacobstown and find Forks, because he's been with me ever since the beginning. Oh god, where is he? Uh, no, that's not him. We're gonna get Forks and we're gonna get Edie. Eddie. Whatever. The, the little robot that I've always had. Something troubling. All right, and then I don't, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll have to go to the. C I don't know how we're gonna get there because they fucking the. The Legion hates me, and they're ordered to kill me on sight. So I don't know what we're gonna do. You see my robot? Hold on, I just need to know where he...
Hold on, hold on, I'll just, I gotta get this bug. There's usually a bug somewhere, they tell you a bug. You know what? Nah, screw it. Let's just go with Fox. He's good enough. Okay, so we'll go to the sniper nest. Actually, you know, we'll, we gotta find that thing first, don't we? That is why I take forks with me. I wonder if I could change... We'll see how we go up to Cottonwood Cove. I don't know why it's called Cottonwood Cove. Such a... Sniper nest, and then we'll go down to Cottonwood Cove. Oh, why? Wait, hold on. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't check out the long 15. So I finished the I finished the DLC yesterday of Lonesome Road, roads, whatever. You know the divide. Morning. Okay, hold on, wait, hold on. <laughs> Be aware think. of the present moment. One fifteen gate key. Oh, it's located in Lonesome Road. That's not. Yes, it is. The gate to, is located in, in twenty-two. Is located in the south. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So for me to get through this gate, uh, in the DLC, the one that I did yesterday, I would ha I would have had to um, cho chosen to use the. Um, I would have had to chosen the uh, rockets to go against the NCR. And if I chose the rocket, so, and if I chose the rockets to go against the, uh, the Caesar, I would have had to go dry wells. So those two, I'm, I'm not going to be able to find those two because I so chose not to do that. Ugh. Look at all this space out here, man. Alright, so that's what it is. Okay, so I can't do those two. Oh well. Honestly, I'm not really caring as much as other people. Like, like, it's not, it's not that I'm not caring, it's just... 
I don't know how to say it in a way which isn't wrong. Um, I am enjoying the game, but I'm at the point where I just want to finish it. You know, I've been playing for, I did Fallout 3 and I had, what, 13? How many streams of Fallout 3 do I have? Anyways, and then I did Fallout New Vegas, and now I'm just at the point where I've found all of the things, well, most of the things, I've done the DLCs, you know, stuff like that, so. Where is this sniper nest? There it is. Okay, I have no idea what's going to happen now because they are because I am vilified against them, so I have no idea what's going to happen. We might have to take the boat alone and go in and just kill Caesar anyway. Anyways, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope the game looks good and clear to you guys. I hope that I sound good and clear. Okay, so everything turns orangey-red because... Yeah. Come on, game! Time to die! So, I, I, like I said, I have no idea what, what was going to happen, because I've never done this part. Well, I have, but 
not when I'm vilified or whatever it's fucking whatever it says in the in the thing. Show yourself. need to No I don't I don't need to Okay good I'm not going to search them I've got pretty much everything that I need go in and kill Caesar but I don't need to die coward I gotta go get the chip, that's what it is. Alright, whoops. I'm nearly out of bullets with this gun as well. So I gotta go get the chip. From the. Yep. He doesn't have to chip. No, he doesn't. Chip back. You're a scrapper, baby. 
They didn't stand a chance. That's it, baby. All right, now we can go. <laughs> Sorry, I just totally forgot about that part. Why am I losing frames now? Oh, because that's probably processing. Right. Anyways, I hope the game looks good. I know that some frames have been lost right now, but oh well. Like I said, we're at the end of... Oh, it was probably just that little bit. Yeah. So, what I know with this game, with what we're doing... Let's go to a hard save. It doesn't matter now. It's, you know, it's, what I know with what we're doing, we gotta upgrade. We gotta upgrade the thing. Well, wow. I already know this. But all right. So what we're going to. We're gonna upgrade the bunker, but we're gonna give Yes Man the chip, and he's gonna be the one put in charge. I'm sorry everyone, I know that I'm like rushing this and I could have looked around and all that shit, but honestly I just don't care. the Securitron. Of course we're going to upgrade it. Okay, okay, hold on. This might be a really short stream as well, ladies and gentlemen. Just putting that out there. Yes, man. And yeah, go from there. Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibilities, doesn't it? If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. I'll be waiting right here. 
Okay, let's let's kill Mr. House or disable Mr. House. <sighs> Hold on, I just want to know. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I want to see if those snow globes actually came in, came through. Where to, Portman? Uh, penthouse, because I'm pretty sure the penthouse is in here. Mr. House is just pleased as punch you got those old Securitrons back. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. I know it's framey, everyone. I know it's very framey. You know what? Screw it. Let's just finish this. I'm done. what happens. Did that? No, wait. Which one? No, we'll sterilize. No. Uh... Right. No matter what, he dies either which way.
again. Can I help you with something else? Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Don't be carrying any guns in this scene. Once the president is safe, 
there's one more thing for you to take care of. This gadget I'm handing you is called an override module. Mr. House had two of these made years and years ago. Just like him to think ahead. Take the module to the El Dorado substation and attach it to the power control terminal. I'll handle the rest. I'll use the substation to send a huge jolt of electricity to the Lucky 38. Turns out this casino has its own reactor. All it needs is a jump start. With the reactor running at full tilt, I can boost the transmission strength of the Lucky 38's command and control network. I'm talking direct tactical control of hundreds of upgraded Securitrons at vast distances. You know that's gonna come in handy. Great! When this is taken care of, we'll be all set for the Legion to make its move. Okay, so we're gonna go to the substation, and then we're gonna go to Kimball, and there we go. Um, where the fuck is Forks? Stay out of the control room in and... I love going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth! Oh, I didn't talk to- ah, oh, screw it. I think the snow, the snow globe thing is in the cocktail suite. Or cocktail. Don't you love seeing the lucky 38 all too bad about President Kimball and everything? Exciting news! The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack imminent! Monster. Well, some of Mr. House's projections predict a moderate probability of civil instability subsequent to the NCR being driven from the Vegas region. One of the mitigating contingencies he planned was to enlist the followers to provide increased medical aid throughout the region. Just seems like it might help keep things stable when we go independent. Not that I know what I'm talking about. Wonderful. I'll keep tabs on the situation at the dam. See you in a bit. Okay, so the president got killed because I went to the substation. Whoops. Oh. But I'm kicking the NCR out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, one second, everyone.
Sorry about that everyone. When you when you get calls, you get calls. Where am I going? Oh, the, yeah, the followers. Okay, so President Kimball got assassinated because I went to the substation, but I don't really mind because I'm kicking the NCR out anyway. Thank you for visiting you to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Hey. I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely, and no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. If House is out of the picture, maybe we'll be able to get our hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out. But I can see the Garretts aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. I'm sure you have your reasons, but we are much too busy to waste our time on those selfish bastards. Even if we wanted to, we don't have the resources to handle such a monumental task right now. Unless you can handle our supply shortages, the best we can do is scrape by here in Freeside. Sure. We're pretty short-handed as... Jesus, man, this game is dying on me.
game. The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. The followers of the Apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here, but the kings quickly took control of the pump. We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so, ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. They've done a lot of good for the community, but that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess that explains the situation with the water pump. Usually, the king wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore the wastes. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. A den of iniquity. The Garretts do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. Their thugs, on the other hand, they keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother-sister psychopath teams? Even if we... Unless you can handle our... Okay, so I've got to... Have you seen the new security upgrade? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here. I pity anyone who gets tested with those bots now. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. Sorry, everyone. I totally forget how to... I know that I have to give them things. What can the king do for you? Fine by me. Just a... Near as I can tell, with some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the king. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. 
Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too, along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Sure thing. Understand, Freeside? You have to look back a few years. Originally, we were all just tribes making a living in this area. That all changed when Mr. House came around. He made an offer to the three biggest tribes that were willing to listen to him. Today, everyone calls those tribes the Three Families, and they live in luxury and run their own casinos in the Strip. The rest of us were left to fight over the crumbs, living in the shadow of those more fortunate. Things got pretty nasty for a while, but we wanted more. A place of our own, a place where no one could tell us what to do, and we didn't want to go elsewhere to find it. So we took control of this place and made it our own. That's really all Freeside is, the best of a bad situation. We're different than other gangs, and not just because we dress better. We're not just a group of thugs looking for our next fight. The kings are about an idea, you see, where every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing. Where every man is a king in his own right. We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others, and that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. There's me, but I don't really like talking about myself. There's Julie Farkas and the other followers down at the old Mormon fort. The Garrett twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall scheme of things, there's Mick and Ralph, too. Just don't tell them I said that. Who all did you want to know about? Julie represents the followers of the Apocalypse. They're a group that tries to help people out whenever they can, so we get along just fine. If you ever need to get patched up, one of their docks will have you right as rain in no time flat. They sell supplies, too, or used to. Heard they were having trouble bringing stuff in or keeping up with the demand or something lately. Did you want to know about anyone else? So the great Caesar is dead. Happy news, but I don't know that it'll make things safer. The rest of his goons may be even worse once they take power. Great! to hear. Oh, by the way, I got a shipment of magazines from home I'd be willing to sell if you're interested. Take a look. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, we're good. You can keep them. I'm sure even if we wanted to, we don't have the resources to handle such a monumental task right now. Unless you can have. Also, I would like to. 
Your work here in the old Mormon fort has been invaluable, and I can't think of a more worthy recruit. Will you join us? Excellent! The follower's mission will be better served with someone like yourself traveling around the Mojave. As a representative of the followers, I present you with your very own lab coat. Also, before I forget, here's a key to a safe house you can use to rest if you happen to be in the area. I'll just mark it on your map. Why should we support Vegas? They've locked Freeside out of the city and do nothing to help their neighboring townsfolk. Wow. Whatever you have planned must be pretty big to give them the boot, but this sounds dangerous. I refuse to put my people at risk. If the NCR are pushed out, the raiders and other scum will run amok. That is somewhat reassuring, but we still don't have the resources to care for the entire Mojave by ourselves. We already experience regular supply shortages. Opening our door to the entire region... I don't see how this could ever work. It is indeed our duty to teach and improve the living conditions of our fellow man. But we're talking an insane amount of logistics to make this work. I think I see now what you intend to set in motion. If this plan will bring us one step closer to revitalizing the region, you can count on our support. So long as you keep us supplied, we will stay in the Mojave to provide care and education for those in need. I hope the Legion gets destroyed. If they take the dam, we'll all be slain. See? She gets it! If it can be bought, it can be founded. Okay, I just want to see... I know what it is because I'm doing all this work for Freeside. That's what's going on. Come on, game. Just load up. Sorry, everyone. We're just going to have to wait. Oh my, I think my whole game just, I fucking hate this cunt of a game. I think my whole game just crashed. Yep. Yeah, full on New Vegas, you can play it on Windows 10. No, we gotta keep sucking Todd Howard's dick. Can't make a fucking program which optimizes fucking old games. Come on, New Vegas, start up.
Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Loads up. There we go. I don't know what's going to happen with the supplies. I really don't, so hopefully it's all good. Are you ready to head for the dam? Caesar's Legion is due to attack at any moment. Well, one of the... over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there are two ways we can win this thing. Hear that? We have options. <laughs> you could route the dam's power output to the facility under Fortification Hill. That'll restart its reactor, just like you did with the Lucky 38. That'll wake up the Securitron army you left on standby and give us enough force to push the Legion and the NCR straight out of the Mojave. The other option is, destroy the dam's generators. Without those, it's just a big bunch of concrete. The NCR won't have any reason to stick around. You don't have to decide yet. For now, all you have to do is take this override module and install it on the terminal in the power control room. Good luck. See you at the dam. You are committing to fight for the uh, for an independent Vegas at the role of Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now before you cross the point of no return. Let's do this. We must get to the control. Keep you in split hall, Duke. And install the override chip. Shouldn't be here. Damn it all.
I could route the dam's entire power output to the fort. That'll activate a certain army of Securitrons and set them loose to ravage the Legion. What do you say? Yes! This is gonna be fun! I'm unlocking the East Power Plant. Hit the manual switch, then go topside and deal with the Legion and NCR. Non-stop, are they? Aren't they? <laughs> I just, I just want to see his buddy go complete. Fire at me. Can we try that? I have no need to hold it. Anything the West sends against me shall break against the wall that is the Legion. You think we would march without a means of resupply? We have the fort. We will have the dam. Other communities will fall. And we shall harvest as we move west. 
We only need move forward. There are many towns, many slaves, ripe for the taking as the tribes from the east were. You rely too much on the trappings of civilization. The people of the West were once tribes. They will relearn their ways, or... Hmm. Long ago, when taking Denver, I had to face such a challenge. Many died over many years to claim the city as ours. It was the lines of food and water that nearly broke the Legion's strength, and the lack of tribals near that cursed city. When I felt in that struggle, I felt as I saw the map of the West. The West is a trap. The bear has already been caught in it, and it is dying. My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, Courier, I shall wait for you on the battlefield. And that's the Gat, Legat, Legat. That's that guy done. Now it's time to tell the NCR to fuck off. Move along. <laughs> Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. And, uh, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... Um... You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook, or I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting a fight when I came up here. And now that we're talking, I don't like the sound of things. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? 
Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops. <sighs> Hell. Can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day. And I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. Um... Fine. Come on, men. We're moving out. You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but... Well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, uh, reprogram my personality. To be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters, so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be, off making a few changes. And I... I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the terror of a cheated death in the cemetery outside this spring has just cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Tabitha and Rhonda went east, through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. Their leaders destroyed by the courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. Fuck. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. 
The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the majority of the Vault 19 powder gangers joined the Great Khans, the weaker members scattered throughout the Mojave wasteland. Though a few managed to erase their past, most never survived the journey. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I'll figure out where this puts me is at the beginning. Congratulations on completing Fallout New Vegas. Would you like to load us? Uh, let's just go yes. Forgot what I just did. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so that is actually going to be it for me and New Vegas. Um, like, honestly, I could probably go around and try to find all the little quests and everything and redo it all again and stuff, but honestly, I just don't want to. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media, there are links in the description. Um, I don't know if I will be doing Fallout 4 straight away, but I might. But anyways, thank you once again for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.